I don't know who needs to hear this, but this button right here can be dangerous. If you recirculate air in your car for long periods of time, it can lead to excess CO2 buildup, which can cause cognition issues and headaches and drowsiness. Now I know what you're thinking. How do astronauts not experience this problem? CO2 is captured by sponge-like minerals like zeolite or lithium hydroxide. On the ISS, they even turn that excess carbon dioxide into water by reacting it with hydrogen and you get water, which they drink, and methane, which in the future could be used to make rocket fuel. In fact, we could pull CO2 from Mars's atmosphere, which has a lot of it, and make drinkable water and rocket fuel all in one reaction. Anyways, there is a famous space mission, which you've probably heard of, Apollo 13, where they had way too much carbon dioxide because they had three people and a space designed for two. Thankfully, they were able to MacGyver a solution, which kind of included a square peg in a round hole situation with their lithium hydroxide canister. And one time I met Fred Hayes himself, the astronaut who worked with Mission Control to solve the problem, and we got to reenact it. It was so cool. So anyways, all of that to say, be careful with this button on long road trips, especially with multiple people in the car.